This is where we look at Texas Tech and Joey McGuire, Zach Kidley, and all the coaches over there. Did an amazing job seeing the game and finding a way to finish it off against Texas for a big win. Obviously, a really big program win, but we'll look at a few plays that were really interesting and important in this game, but we'll dive right in. First play right here is a fourth and goal in the first quarter here, and they're in a 21 personnel set, so it's fourth and four right here. So defense probably thinking pretty heavily toward the, towards the pass right here. Get a little bit of motion. Texas Tech's running basically power. Everybody's down blocking right here. This is the guy that ends up being the kick. The running back fakes like he's running the ball, and then he ends up basically being the lead right here on power. So there's the motion. Ball snapped. You see that you're getting the mesh right there. You're trying to get everybody to step down like you're running inside zone. Down blocking right here and just working through the backside linebacker. Okay, so right here, if you're just drawing it up, you're going to block there. He's getting an inside gap to backside linebacker. Inside gap, inside gap, looks like he's a C gap player. Inside gap to backside linebacker right there. Motion, he's kicking, fake, and then I'm going right there. You're gonna have an unblocked guy right here. Quarterback's gonna have to beat right there. You can see double there, trying to get up to that backside. He goes right there. There's the kick from the motion. We're running back, see that motion, boom. Good job staying tight and then going vertical, trying to get your outside shoulder to kick. Right here, if you're looking back at the running back, downhill. And he's got to pace himself. He's got to get out in front right here. Quarterback, he, quarterback goes from back hip to front hip. And he just gets in behind this guy, knowing that he's going to have to bring a little bit of power right here on the goal line. Not the greatest block right here by the running back. He just kind of tries to throw a shoulder at him. Loses the side of it. Not exactly what you're trying to coach right there as far as fundamentals, but right there he's being aggressive. His guy still gets a piece of the quarterback here. Quarterback does a great job understanding, hey, I've got to find a way to get into the end zone. Plays with momentum and plays right through this defender's chest. Boom, right there. Find a way to get into the end zone on a fourth and four early in the game. Find a way to get into the end zone right here, even though he get contact right there on about the three yard line. He fights, gets the end zone right there for a big touchdown early in the game. Right here's a look of Texas Tech, just basically running your typical counter here. Nobody in this alley, so right here, that's where you want to exploit. They got the numbers over here to this side, so you want to go away from it. All you're doing right here is you're going inside gap, Backside linebacker, same thing right here. Probably inside gap there on the A gap player. Probably there. Probably gap hinge into the backside. Kick. Lead on the front side linebacker right there. Hand the ball and get behind those pullers. See what happens. And right here, you see the ball snapped. These guys are getting a good double team right there. Here he squeezes down, trying to stay square. He tries to box it. But right there, he's so tight. He squeezed that thing all the way down close to the hash. Tighten down, don't let there be a big gap. Boxes it, he folds to the outside here. Good job here by the fullback, getting around. Now he's just sitting there, working that outside shoulder square. Running back gets the edge right there, and they're in the alley where there's nobody left with that safety rolling away. So good job, good execution right here. And really, this is a play that turns into an explosive play, but it also sets up another play towards the goal and they'll look at next. This is the play that the previous counter set up, but it's not the exact same formation. I actually have a back right here instead of an extra receiver and what he ends up doing is he ends up wheeling but these guys everybody else is running counter just like they did on the previous play so inside gap probably double there to that linebacker gap hinge pull kick pull lead right there on that linebacker not real sure if the quarterback's reading anything when this guy goes post trying to take two for one where if you look at it quarterback he glances if you're just looking at his eyes to so catch it looks like he kind of glances that direction then his eyes go that that way on this fake and as soon as that ball is snapped this receiver he's wheeling right here Takes off, good fake right there, steps back, getting away from it, seeing there's nobody right there. The corner is playing man-to-man, -man. this safety is off, everybody's stepping into the box there for the run, flips it to his guy right there on the wheel, now he's got everybody out leveraged, he's down the sideline right there, ran off man coverage, ran a wheel right there. As they're running counter, they're able to exploit a little bit of space and these guys stepping in, squeezing, trying to play that counter, taking advantage of it right there, get a completion, at a really opportune time right here in the red zone, get it to your guy, and right there he strolls to the end zone for a touchdown. This play right here is a really interesting call. You got two backs in the backfield, you got a tight end right here, and they're faking the screen. So they, as soon as the ball snaps, these running backs get wide like they're throwing a swing. Here you can see quarterback catches it. He pumps to his left, turns his back, pumps to his right. Now you're getting your tight end releasing directly down the middle of the field. And we'll roll back and see exactly what happens. So. As you see, everybody's past it. Right here, there's a four-man rush. So actually getting their center to release right there like it's going screen. So when he releases, I'm not sure if this guy's looking at the center, looking at the backs, looking at both of them. Right there, he's getting wide, and that's what you really want. So 
He gets wide with that running back and the tight end right here. He pass sets, and once he sees him cross his face, he goes right behind him going vertical. Quarterback sets his feet, puts it on him. Good job right here not leading him. If he leads it right there into this mic, there's going to be an issue. He puts it right on his body, slows him down. Good job here by the tight end turning his hips. Get that catch. Gets down to about the one-yard line, but right there, pretty interesting call. Faking screens both ways. You got that tight end pass set in one, two, three. And then he goes right behind that guy. Let's those guys widen out. Good ball here by the quarterback, not leading him into that defender. And then uh, obviously a good catch. So it's one of those plays. Good call. Well executed by the quarterback and well executed there by the tight end. Able to give him a chance. Get down to the goal line right there on what ended up being a big score as well. This play right here, really good design by Texas Tech. They motion him in. He ends up running the shallow here. Tight end outside releases. He runs a dig. Probably run a post there over the top. He's running some kind of a go. Takes two for one. Safety and corner. Nobody's left right here. They end up getting a blitz right here from this linebacker. So this guy has the guard. This receiver that worked all the way across and comes across in that shallow right there on that side. And see, as the ball snapped, inside release going fade or post. Getting a blitz here from the linebacker. And he ends up going through that backside B. This guard should see it right there as far as him scooping right there. They get a little bit edged. And right there, pretty lucky that they're able to get this ball out just in time. He's swiping at his feet. Gets him down. But right there, just a little bit of a slide. Still gets an accurate ball in that under. And we'll go back to it. You see with that motion... He lets him get a little bit tighter. He's dropping. He's going to be hot to whatever's trying to cross the field, trying to wall that. He goes so shallow, so fast that he's not able to get to him. You see him reaching out. That's not what you want right there as a defender, just reaching. You're going to be moving your feet right there. Accurate ball, even though you're getting pressure. And now it's just a race between the linebacker and one of their fastest guys on the field, which they're going to win every time. So good concept right there. And right here you can see if you roll it back, he outside releases to try to beat man coverage with a little bit of a rub. Then he works that dig as well. So right there, they get a completion. If that wouldn't have been there and they had time, there's the next guy right there working that dig. But right there, they will take the very first read. Get out of your hand, at your ball. One-on-one -on -one with the middle linebacker right there, and those receivers are going to win that every time. Another interesting play here. we got three receivers over here to the boundary. Obviously, one of them is kind of full back there in the backfield. Here's tight end. So this entire set is condensed right here in two-thirds of the field. And what they end up doing is they run vertical. Vertical right there, trying to take the corner, trying to take this safety off, and they're making it look like power. So they're pulling their guard here. Everybody else is down blocking. He's coming across, faking, going to the flats. This fullback's the guy that leaks out. He's going vertical, then he kind of works in behind. He's wanting to get behind these linebackers, they're hoping to step down for the run. They want to run all these guys off here, work him to that second level. Once the corner is gone, once the safety's gone, they're hoping to high low him and see what he plays. But right here, we'll look at it. As that ball snapped, you can see the puller here. These guys taking off going vertical. There's the fake. Quarterback's going to slide with them just a little bit. You can see corner's gone. Safety's gone. Those guys are backing up. This is the outside linebacker that's kind of left. You see him step up. It's almost like he's stuttering on them. Then he goes to that second level. On this play, it's pretty interesting because you see him throttle down. So once he gets past this linebacker, he slows down just a little bit because he knows he's pretty close to the end zone right here. He doesn't want to run all the way to those defenders that are backing up. You want to give yourself plenty of room. Good ball right there, hole shot, not throwing it over backers, putting it in windows right there, and he throttled down just enough past those guys that he's able to catch the ball before he before he gets any pressure from the guys over the top, like the corner of the safety. Then right there, able to get into the end zone because everybody's chasing the receiver. You can see they're all the way back here in the back of the end zone, the guys that they ran off, which is one of those things. If you're playing man-to-man, -man, I get it. If you're playing zone, it's kind of weird that they're all the way to the back of the end zone, but work back behind that defender. Had a high low, you had this back getting out with that play fake and all that. Now he's throwing it down. Good strong throw in the window. Good catch. And then finishing it right there in the end zone. 